And tonight's topic is Pesach, or better known as Passover. Uh, my name is Kazakio Ben Yisrael, and this is the second portion of the show dealing with this topic. Uh, right now, I'm going to introduce our guest. I am Elder Shalaniya Ben Yisrael. Shalom. 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 I am Elder Aharon Ben Israel. Shalom. 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 And I am Obiyahu Ben Israel. Shalom. Shalom, my Shalom. So, uh, when, we le for, when we left off in the last show, Elder Shadonai was expounding on a certain area dealing with Pesach. And if he will, I don't think he finished, so. I'm going to allow him to finish. I'll be the other one. Let's do expand on the Either one. I believe it was you, Elder. Well, we was talking about the Messiah and what, how he relates to the Passover. And if y'all don't want to go out, I'd like to bring this concerning the, concerning the Messiah and, and, and the Passover and something that he had said mm -hmm. that I just wanted to bring out you know, to the viewing audience. And I wanted to go to uh, Luke 22 and 14. Mm -hmm. Luke 22. Okay. All right. And he reads, And when the hour was come, he sat down, and the twelve apostles with him. And he said unto them, With desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of Yah. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of Yah shall come. Now, I want to take that and go over to uh, 1 Corinthians. We was talking about Shaul. Mm. And First Corinthians uh. 11 and 23, All right. he was quoting, he was uh. quoting this, and it reads, For I have received of Yahweh that which also I deliver unto you, that the master, Yahoshua, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it and eat. And I want to highlight this part right here where it said, he said, take it and eat. Now, when the Messiah is telling the disciples to do something, we know that when the Father speaks and the Son speaks, the Son echoes what the Father say, that's a commandment, okay? Okay. So when he gives instructions, he say, take it and eat. Okay, he said, this is my body which is broken for you. Mm -hmm. He said, this do in remembrance of me. Uh -huh. So we know that the Messiah said, do this in remembrance of me. But he also said that if you love me, you'll do what? Keep my Keep commandments. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you consider yourself to be a Christian and a follower of Jesus, then you would do what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. Then he just say right here, take this mm -hmm. and do this in remembrance of me. Okay. But, Aki, are you saying that uh, Messiah was taking Passover at this time? No, no, no. What I'm saying... Oh, okay. Okay. What I'm saying is that this is what we do at the Passover. And the Messiah is giving us a commandment. And we know that whatever the Messiah tells us to do, we ought to do it if we love him. He said if we love him... <coughs> to keep his commandments, okay? He said, after this manner, he took the cup, and when he had a supper, this cup is the New Testament in my body. Now, we know that we don't take communion, but we can equate that with what the Father said about uh, the unleavened bread and the bitter herb. So, I'm just trying to line up what's synonymous with what the Messiah was. He was the he was the living embodiment of the Passover, and what happened in, in Egypt was a shadow 
of what the Messiah came to do, okay? Mm -hmm. So we know that that the Messiah was the Passover. Right. That's uh, see. I didn't. I didn't. I was trying to let you make your point, but we don't want to confuse. I'm not saying you were. Mm -hmm. but we just want to make sure that the people don't misconstrue and think that Yahshua was having Passover. No, oh, no, because no. he when wasn't this there. Was happening. Right. 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 Oh, no. So I mean, but it's it's easily misunderstood because okay. it's written like that. Right. In right. Matthew. Okay. okay. Yeah. You understand know yeah. what I'm saying? So you have to, you know. Yeah. Give clarity. See, that's a lesson in itself. Right, yeah, you have to give, we finna debunk yeah. that right now. But I'm just saying you have to give clarity. Yeah. Right. Because right. the person. People think that anyway. Uh, right. They yeah. think he that, was having. He was he, having Passover. He was having pa yeah. Now we know that he was the Passover. Okay. So he couldn't have been there. Right. Okay. Because he, yeah, he was the sacrificial right. lamb. All right. right. But the scripture tells us that you know to do this in remembrance of me. What I'm just trying to show uh -huh. is that if you say. You love the Messiah, you will keep his commandments. And I was just trying to show the people where that he was the Passover, and the Passover symbolized freedom. So who the Son set free is free indeed. So uh -huh. if you believe that he was the Passover uh -huh. and he died on Passover and rose in three days, and Elder talked about in um, uh -huh. Romans 8 and 3, where the spirit of life made us free mm -hmm. from the spirit of death. So if you believe that the Passover was the spirit of life, then you would keep that. You would honor that. Mm -hmm. If you believe he set you free, so why don't you do what he says for you to do and what will symbolize what you believe? You keep July the 4th and you believe that mm. that's America's independence. Mm -hmm. So is it uh, Passover, our independence. Yeah, it is. So yeah. we were set free on the Passover. So that means you would want to keep it. Mm -hmm. That's, That's why we're trying to go. Yeah, but but let's let's even get into this a little more further. John spoke. He said, "Behold, the Lamb of Elohim." that taketh away the sin of the world. Mm -hmm. We finna show by scripture mm -hmm. that he was that lamb. Okay. Because yeah, many good. people don't understand how could that be because just as you were saying, Kazakiel, uh -huh. it, it talks about him celebrating the Passover right. with uh -huh. his disciples. No. What they don't understand is that the way that this was written, it's completely out of order. Right. So what I would like for us to do is turn to John, Yahukana, the 12th chapter. And we're going to walk this down. And we're going to start at verse 12, 12 and 12. No, wait a minute. Let's go back. We're going to start at 1. John 12 and verse 1. Follow. You're going to have to follow this very carefully because if you don't, you'll get lost and you'll miss the point that's being made here. Mm -hmm. It said, then six days before the Passover, Yahshua came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, who had been dead, whom he had raised from the dead. Mm. Now, stop. Why, why am I starting here? Well, we're going to go backwards because it's important that you understand this. Mm -hmm. Now, in the previous show, we had went back to Genesis. And the reason why we went back to Genesis was to show you that the Father's Day started in the evening. Mm -hmm. right. So evening. the Father's Day is from evening to evening. That's, mm -hmm. right. <clears throat> That's right. So if we walk backwards from 14, we come to what? 
from 14 at evening mm -hmm. to 13 at evening is one day. Right. From 13 at evening to, to uh, 12 at evening is two days. Mm -hmm. From 12 at evening to 11 at evening is three days. From mm -hmm. 11 at evening mm -hmm. to, <clears throat> to 10 at evening is four days. From, from 10 at evening to 9 at evening is five days. And from 9 at evening to 8 at evening is what? Six days. Okay. Huh. What does it say? It says six days before Pesach. Before Pesach. So yeah. that he was coming in on the ninth day. Okay. Huh? Well. Now, it said he came to Bethany where Lazarus was. Mm -hmm. Huh? Then it says, there they made him a supper, and Martha served him. But Lazarus was one of those who sat at the table with him. Mm -hmm. Then Mary took a pound of very costly oil of spikena. Okay. Anointed the feet of Yahshua and wiped his feet with her hair. Mm -hmm. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Now, let's skip down to verse 12. Okay. It says, the next day a great multitude that had come to the feast when they heard that Yahshua was coming to Jerusalem. Stop. Why is that important? Let's go back to Exodus, the 12th chapter. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to read something here. Okay. Because it's important that you understand this. Uh -huh. It says... I'm at 12 and 3 of Exodus. It says, Speak to the whole community of Israel and say that on the 10th of this month, each of them shall take a lamb to a family, a lamb to a household. Now, why is that important? Remember now, Yahshua came to Jerusalem on what day? The 10th, 10th day. day. He was in Jerusalem. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. What did it say here in Exodus? That you were to take your lamb on the 10th day, day of the month. So, right. had to be among the so he had to be there. in among Jerusalem right. on among, the 10th day. Among so the that's right. right. So right. Yahshua was among the people That's in right. Jerusalem on That's the 10th right. day of the month. That's right. Now, it's important that you understand this. In a place where huh? Yah placed, placed his name. His name. Right. Why? Because that was the place where the lamb had to be sacrificed. Right. right. Huh? That's right. That Remember this now. Yeah. This is important that you follow this. Yeah. Because uh -huh. if you don't follow this, then you can never say, Mm -hmm. that the Messiah was your Passover lamb. Mm -hmm. Right. Because it's verified by the scripture. Right. Right. Everything right. that we say in here is right. works right. by the scripture. Right. Right. This is not right. This is not me. No. Mm -hmm. Scripture interprets scripture. That's right. That's right. That's so man, let's continue to read this here. Very good. It says, but if the household is too small for a lamb, mm -hmm. let him share one with his neighbor who dwells nearby in proportion to the number of persons. Uh -huh. You shall contribute for the lamb according to what each household shall eat. Mm -hmm. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a yearling male. You may take it from the sheep or from the goat. Now, what did, what did Yochanan say? Behold, the Lamb of Elohim right. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that taketh away the sin mm -hmm. of the world. The world. Right. We know that Yahshua was without blemish or without sin. Right. Yep. He was perfect. That's Why? Right. Because the Lamb that had to be sacrificed had to be what? Without blemish. Had to be perfect. Without, sin. without blemish. Without blemish. The, yeah. blood, the blood of that Lamb had to be pure. Right. So the Messiah who was pure, 
Right. See, remember this. This is all follows. Right. This is step by step. This is a, uh, and it also had to be what? Had to be a, a year or yeah. one, uh, one year. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Again. The first born. The first, that's right. The, that's representing the first born. That's right. what, there, here we go. That's right. Now, it said, you shall keep it, keep watch over it until the 14th day of this month. Mm -hmm. And all the assembled congregation of Israel shall slaughter it at twilight. <laughs> now, what does it, what, see, it's so much symbolism yeah, within this. Yeah, yeah, exactly, that's the that, point. Yeah, see, you got to you got to remember what, like, what's going on here. And the law. See, right. that he had to die by the law. Right. Hmm. Everything had to fall into mm -hmm. place. Because right. if it didn't, mm -hmm. then that means that he was not who he said he was. Elder, can I ask you a question, Elder? Mm -hmm. Got imposter. So who had to stay the lamb in Exodus? The whole congregation. The, the whole congregation. So, okay, my, so my next question is, mm. who slew the lamb when you sure was the lamb? The whole congregation. That's right. That's, <laughs> That's, right. Right. That's, That's right. right. That's the whole congregation <laughs> did. did. Why? That's because did. they That's asked right. for who? Barabbas. Barabbas. That's right. <laughs> That's right. See, remember now, That's sinful right. blood. That's right cannot cover sin. That's right. It has to be what? Innocent, Innocent blood. Right. Right. That covers sin. Right. Dang. You see, all of this fits in place. And, so but right, And that represents who? Yeshua. Yes, mm -mm, I'm just saying mm -hmm. that act represents well, true love. love. Oh, yeah. Oh, true love. Pure love. Pure love. Right. Oh, Unadulterated that's love. love. That's right. <laughs> No, hey, yeah. no greater yeah. age no right. than a man right. what? That's Give right. his life for his friends. Yeah, then right. Yahshua say, I call you friends. Yeah. Well, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. he, it, it all follows. It never, it never strays. Mm -hmm. But you so, know what? I, I want to get too far off. Mm -hmm. No, go ahead. But we know with this, with this movie that Mel Gibson made, <laughs> the Jews say it's anti-Semitic to oh. say that they killed the Messiah. It did. But, but they're not from Shem. That's what I'm trying to, that's the point I was trying to make. It, ain't, that it we wasn't see, them. We see it wasn't them because they don't even confirm the scripture. They get offended. Right. Which, which, that really showed who Yahshua, he was who he say he was. That's right. Because he had to die the same way it was written in the law. Of but course. Jews are not from Shem. No, they're not. Right. So it they're ain't got nothing to do with not. being anti-Shemitic. Okay. Because they have no uh, Shemitic descent. Right. So I don't even know what that. they upset about. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even understand it. Yeah. Likewise, yeah. I, don't I don't understand either. Don't what, what are you asking yeah. for? Well, see, they first want to holler foul, but right. they ain't from Shem. You ain't right. No, it, it wasn't right. them at all. You know, it, but it this wasn't confirmed them. it wasn't them. Sure it does. Of, of course it over does. Over and over again. That's why we have to they go by the scripture. Mm -hmm. How the scripture got it written out, and right. you have to show Passion. how the law say that he had to die. The whole now, congregation killed him. Yeah, that's true. Right now, let's we have a picture here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the reason why we got to paint this picture is because I want to debunk mm -hmm. this other nonsense about the Last Supper. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. See. No this is this, this is this is some more nonsense mm -hmm. that they keep portraying. Yeah. Because <laughs> think about it like this: What does it say? The lamb had to be held from the tenth day to the fourteenth day, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Now, here's the part that people misunderstand. On the beginning of the fourteenth day. Mm -hmm which was just as the 13th day was ending, okay. they were having supper. Right, that's right. what I was trying to go right. with earlier. They, they were having supper. supper. Right. Mm -hmm. This was the 14th yeah, day. A regular so, supper. Right, they were having just a regular supper. That's it. Because if you remember, the disciples got to fighting. Didn't he wash their feet? Yeah, he washed their feet. But before then, 
they got the fight because they wanted to know, well, who was the good, you know, who was the uh, best one? Yeah, okay. You know, okay. they got the humbugging up in there. Right, you know? right, right, right. Because, I mean, now remember now, these guys, they walk with the Messiah, uh -oh. but they never really understood That's right. any of the things that he was trying well, to bring to them. Exactly. Yeah. That's why when you talked about when he opened their understanding mm -hmm. in Luke uh, 2444, mm -hmm. when he talked about he opened their understanding to all the things that were written right. about him and what? The law, the Psalms, and the prophets. Right. They, they, here they are. They sitting up here like bumps on a log. You, you know, they didn't understand That's right. nothing. That's right. Not right. one thing did they understand. Exactly. Again. Let's read. I want to go back and read this. Mm -hmm. On the 14th day. No. Came in. Uh uh. No. Came in. I, I want to read something. Mm -hmm. Turn to John, the 11th chapter. John 11. Yeah. I started. I ain't yeah. And I want to read. I'm going to hmm. start at 1145. Okay. Because the subtopic here is, it says, the plot to kill, your Bible say Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says, then many of the Israelites who had come to Mary and had seen the things Yahshua did, believed in him. Mm -hmm. But some of them went away to the Pharisees and told them the things Yahshua did. Okay. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered a council and said, What shall we do? For this man works many signs. Mm -hmm. If we let him alone like this, everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our place and our nation. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> the same. Uh, no, I ain't gonna say that. I know what you was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but these same greedy, unorthodox people, stiff neck and rebellious, st stiff neck and rebellious people, the same ones today yeah, really that's awesome. teaching the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. When somebody come along teaching the right thing. The first thing they want to do is what? Hold on to their position. Mm -hmm. This is what these people here are doing. Position. Look at that. Huh? Mm -hmm. He doing what's right. Mm -hmm. He trying to bring the right <clears throat> thing to the people. Right. And what do they say? What shall we do? He worked many signs. The Romans going to come and take away our place and our nation. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? It's, the, it's them talking. Mm -hmm. It ain't the It's them. These are the same people. Hey, give us Barabbas. Mm -hmm. Remember what we just got right. through reading. Right. See, right. all this is background. Mm -hmm. Right. Because what does this say? The whole congregation of Israel got to do what? They got to lamb. kill the lamb. Mm -hmm. Bring them up right. to the stake. That's right. right. Whole thing. Now, it said the whole congregation had to kill it on the, on the 14th day. Mm -hmm. Now, turn to 12 and verse 23. Okay. This is Yahshua speaking. Mm -hmm. It says, now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this purpose I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Stop. Did you hear what he just said here? Mm -hmm. He said, for this purpose I came to this hour. What purpose? To die for the sin of the world. Ain't that what Yokanan said to you? That's what he you? just said. Huh? Not your personal savior. Isn't he what he said? No, what he said. Remember this now. Mm -hmm. All this had to be. Mm -hmm. It had to be. 
it's yeah. got to fall in line because if, if it's one thing out of line, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then we know he's not the one. Right. Let's go back to something you said, Kazakiel. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What was that, Matthew? So we wipe out the notion of him being a personal savior. Oh, hey. <laughs> he died for the sins of the world. Right. right. What was that, Matthew 20, what did you read? 21? That's, uh, what was it, 23? No, he, he no, he read. Uh, was it twenty one or one second, Elder? You talk about Hosea? Uh uh. No. Uh, it's twenty. Hold on, Elder. That's twenty. Twenty six. Was it twenty six? Twenty six seventeen. Okay, twenty six seventeen. I think that's where you're going. I'm setting it up for you. Set it up. Is that it? Right. <laughs> uh, uh no, not that. Not that. Uh, no, because okay. he read something in the beginning where it talked about. Oh, here it is. You're you right. Got? It is 2617. Okay. okay. It says now on the first day of the feast of unleavened bread. Stop. Right there. Mm. Not so. If that oh, yeah. were the case, mm. then. He couldn't be our Passover lamb. Right. 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 Why couldn't he be our Passover lamb? Because that means that he was alive. Right. And the Passover lamb had to be killed when? The Passover lamb at Eve, twilight. That's right. On what day? Passover. Passover. When is Passover? 14th. The 14th day. Mm -hmm. When is the Feast of Unleavened Bread? When is the first day? The 15th. The 15th. So this is incorrect. That's right. That's right. This could not be. That's right. See, the writers, I believe, got the supper mixed up when he washed the disciples' feet and called that the Passover. Right, but that's why I'm saying they did not understand the law. No, they didn't. Because the law says what? On the fir on the on the fourteenth day of the first month, month at evening really? shall be the Passover. Mm -hmm. King, King. So that if he was alive on the fifteenth day, then he could not be our Passover lamb. Right. That's right. It's impossible. That's right. So something was wrong here. But if you read the whole seventeenth verse. It's all messed up anyway. Right. That's why we didn't need to read no more. But we don't want to confuse them no more right. than, than what they already are. Right, right, right. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We right. we have to stop that right okay. in the bud. I understand. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, because see now, here we go. Because then you 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 come up with some nonsense. Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? Right. We know that's... On the first day of Feast of Unleavened Bread. Right. That's right. impossible. That's impossible. That's impossible. Yep. That's impossible. Yep. So now, we know that he was in Jerusalem on the 10th day. Mm -hmm. right. So now, let's see when they took him. Because it's, it, we have to follow this along. Right. Because remember now, I told you that they had this so-called Last Supper on what? It was the beginning of the 14th day. Mm -hmm. yeah. That began that evening. Right. Remember, the right. Father's Day right. is from evening to evening. Mm -hmm. Sound tedious that I keep going over this, uh -huh. but you got to understand the mm -hmm. things that's happening here and the time frame. Mm -hmm. Right. Also, something too, Ella, uh, and pointing out to the viewing artists, that on that night, mm -hmm. the 14th, that was a very very eventful night. Yes. A lot of things took place yes. on that night. Yes. On the 14th. On that's the 14th. right. On the evening of the 14th. That's right. Because many this, things happened. That's right. A, a multitude of things happened. Yes. A lot. And you got and you got to understand this. Now, here we go. 
So we're going to the John. same. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay right here in this 26th chapter okay, of Matthew. Okay. And the reason we're going to stay here because everything above 31, mm -hmm. 26, 31, everything above that, you can just set that aside. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm serious. I mean, mm -hmm. sound crazy what I'm saying to you. But you got to set that aside. Mm -hmm. Because let's begin to read here at 31. It says, Then Yahshua said to them, All of you will be made to stumble because of me this night, for it is written, <clears throat> huh? Mm -hmm. I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. Stop. Mm -hmm. Notice what he said. This night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, it's important that you really understand this. See, so it couldn't be <laughs> back up here the first day of the feast of unleavened bread. Couldn't no, be that. No, no. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. That's why I say we have to disregard this. Well, they they getting they got some scrolls mixed up. Yeah, they got a whole lot of scrolls mixed up yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. Then it says, but after I have been raised, I will go before you to Galilee. Now, he's telling them what's going to happen after he's put on the stake, after three days and three nights. What's going to happen? Mm -hmm. He's going to go before them into Galilee. Mm -hmm. Then he said, <coughs> Peter answered and said to him, even if all are made to stumble because of you, I will never be made to stumble. Huh? Yahshua said to him, Assuredly, I say to you, that this night before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. Huh? Mm -hmm. All this is all this is integral. Mm -hmm. Peter said to him, Even if I have to die with with you, I will not deny you. And and so said all the disciples. Now. Here's the prayer in the garden. This is just before they came to get him. Right. This happened that night. Right. All this. See, now remember now, this is after they done had the supper. Right, right. They, right. they in the garden. He praying. Now. Mm -hmm. Then Yeshua came with them. This is, now remember, this is the 14th. Mm -hmm. Damn. This is this is this is Still. the 14th. The beginning. Oh, this, all this is happening in the beginning right. of the 14th. And it's dark. Notice it says night. You got to get this picture in your mind. Because if you don't, you never will understand the things that happen here. It says, Then Yahshua came with them to a place called Gethsemane and said to the disciples, Sit here while I go and pray over there. And he said, and he took with him Peter and, two, and the two sons of Zebedee. And he began to be sorrowful and deeply distressed. Then he said to them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. Stay here and watch with me. Mm -hmm. He went a little further and fell on his face and mm -hmm. prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to Peter, mm -hmm. What, could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. Mm -hmm. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Okay. Again, a second time, he went, he went away and prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if this cup cannot pass away from me unless I drink it, you will be done. Yours will, your will will be done. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. So he left them, went away again, and prayed the third time, saying the same word. Then he came to his disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? 
Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of the sinners. Rise, let us be gone. See, my betrayer is at hand. Now, we know that Judas Iscariot betrayed him. He conspired with the Pharisees because they gave him the, the 30 pieces of silver. Right. Right. You see what I'm saying? Okay. There's, there's, there's the price of blood, mm -hmm. betrayal. Okay, and while and while he was still speaking, behold, Judas, one of the twelve, with a great multitude with swords and clubs, came from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Notice I just told you it was the Pharisees, the chief priests, and the elders of the people. These people were the ones who helped with the conspiracy. Understand this. Mm -hmm. Now his betrayers had given them a sign, saying, Whomever I kiss, he is the one. Seize him. Now they didn't know Yahshua. Mm -hmm. As much as he had walked around, they didn't even know him. Mm -hmm. Huh? But he, what, what did Judas say? The one I, when I kiss him, y'all will know who he is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Immediately he went up to Yahshua and said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. But Yahshua said to him, friend, why have you come? Huh? Then they came and laid hands on Yahshua and took him. And suddenly one of those who were with Yahshua stretched out his hand and drew his sword, struck the servant of the high priest, and cut off his ear. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Who was that? Peter. Yep. Huh? But Yahshua said to him, Put your sword in its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Or do you think that I cannot now pray to my father, and he will provide me with more than 12 legions of angels? How then could the scripture be fulfilled that it, is, that it happened thus? Now remember... All this was written down. Huh? This had to be. Uh -huh. And it had to happen just as the scriptures say it. Because if it don't happen like the scriptures say, then he's not the one. Okay. Huh? That is right. That is right. Huh? That is right. In that hour, Yahshua said to the multitude, Have you came out against me, a robber, with a sword and a club to take me? I said daily with you, teaching in the temple, and you did not seize me. But all this was done that the scripture of the prophets might be fulfilled. Notice he keep referring to, to the scripture. scripture. Right. Huh? So what are we saying? This was not written at the time that the scripture was written. So the scripture was first. So right. that means that it was back. Right. Okay. Huh? All this, all this guy works in in place. Huh? Right. 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 Now, now we know that he was taken to the Sanhedrin. Huh? Now let's skip over. Let's go to sixty nine because remember what he told Peter. Huh? That Peter would deny him three mm -hmm. times. Three times. Huh? Before the cock crows. Right. Right. Huh? Now Peter sat outside in the courtyard. And a servant girl came to him saying, You also were with Yahshua of, of Galilee. But he denied it. Then them, he, he denied it before them all saying, I do not know what you are saying. Notice what Peter said before. Oh, master, I'm going to die with you. Mm -hmm. If that be the case. Yeah. Huh? Now notice all this got, all this is falling in place. Huh? And when he had gone out to the get, go, gateway, another girl saw him and said to those who were, were there, this fellow also was with Yahshua of Nazareth. But again he denied with an oath. I do not know the man. <laughs> Notice this. You got you to gotta appreciate what's going on. That's right. There. right, right. Huh? I do not know the man. And a little later, those who stood by came up and said to Peter, Surely 
you also are one of them, for your speech betrays you. Why? Because they all were from Nazareth. Do you understand this here? People don't, people not getting this here. Huh? No. Then he began to curse and swear, saying, I do not know the man. Now, this is the third time he's said this. Immediately a rooster crowed. And Peter remembered the words of Yahshua, who had said to him, before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. So he went out and wept bitterly. Mm-hmm. Now, okay. again, let's, let's take this a little bit further. Okay. Okay, now, here's the morning, mm-hmm. 27. It says, when morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people plotted against Yahshua to put him to death. Huh? What does it say? All the congregation shall kill the lamb on the 14th day at evening. Now we enter the 14th day. This is the morning. Right. Okay? And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Now they're taking him to the Romans. Now, this is in the daytime. Now, this is the morning. You got to get this. Mm -hmm. Then Judas, his betrayer, seeing that he had been condemned, was remorseful and brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priest and the elders, saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. Understand this, what? The lamb without blemish. Mm -hmm. Innocent. Uh, Remember this now. Mm -hmm. And they said... What is this to us? You see, you see to it. Then he threw down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. But the priest, but the chief priest took the silver pieces and said, it is not lawful to put them into the treasury because they are the price of blood. <laughs> Huh? It's that 30 pieces of silver. You heard about the 30 pieces yep. of silver for the betrayers. Mm-hmm. Now, let's go to 11. Now, Yeshua stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Are you the king of the Jews or Israelites? Yeshua said to him, It is as you say. And while he was being accused by the chief priests and the elders, he answered nothing. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they testify against you? But he answered him not one word, so that the governor marveled greatly. Now, remember this here. The scripture had to be fulfilled. So he wasn't going to offer any defense. Uh-huh. You, you, you understand this here? Very wasn't no good. defense for him to offer. Okay. But let's continue to read. Okay. Now, at the feast, the governor was accustomed to releasing to the multitude one prisoner whom they wished. Now, Uh-oh. notice this here. This is wrong. Mm-hmm. Did you hear what I said? Okay. Wrong. This is wrong. Uh-huh. And the reason why I say, why? Because the feast had not begun. Right. Remember now, this still part of the 14th day. Mm-hmm. The feast of unleavened bread, when does it begin? The 15th, 15th day. day. Right. Okay. They just call it gathering of the people a feast, which is incorrect. Right. Wow. Right. And at that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. Therefore, when they had gathered together, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release? Barabbas or Yahshua, whom is called the Christ. For he knew that they had handed him over because of envy. Huh? What did they do? Because of envy. But that was all part of the Father's plan. Had to be. Then it said, 
while he was sitting, I'm at 19, while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent to him saying, have nothing to do with this just man, for I have suffered many things today in a dream because of him. Mm. Hey, <laughs> y'all got to understand this picture here. Yeah. She got it in a dream. She, right. Hey, yeah. being talked to. Now, this is still the 14th day in right. the morning. Right, right, He's right, sitting right, before right. Pilate, right? right? Now, it says, while he was sitting on the judgment seat and his wife talked to him, 20, it says, but the chief priests and elders pursued the multitude that they should ask for Barabbas and destroy Yahshua. The governor answered and said to them, which of the two do you want me to release? They said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, what then shall I do with Yahshua, whom is called the Christ? They all said to him, let him be crucified. Then the governor said, why? What evil has he done? But they cried out all the more, saying, let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he could not prevail at all, but rather that a turmoil was raising, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. You see to it. And all the people answered and said, his blood be on us, and on our children. <laughs> then he released Barabbas to them. And when he had scourged Yahshua, he delivered him to be crucified. Now, this was done in, at 9 o'clock that morning. Mm -hmm. Huh? Now, this is still the 14th. Right, right. Huh? This is still the 14th. That's right, though. Passover ain't got there ain't yet. Got there right. yet. Huh? Right. Y'all got right. to remember this. We're going to skip down because it, it, it's something here I want to read. Okay. We're at 32. Okay. It says, now as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon, by name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they had come to a place called Golgotha, that is to say, place of a skull, Oh. That's for another time, because y'all don't know that either. <laughs> they, they gave him sour wine mingled with gall. You know what gall is, don't you? Urine. Y'all understand nothing that was going on here? But y'all ain't never read this. But when he had tasted it, he would not drink. Then they crucified him and divided his garments, casted lots, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets. Uh -huh. They divided my garments among them, and for my clothes they cast lots. Huh? Sitting down, they kept watch over him. They and they and they put up over his head the accusation written against him. Huh? This is Yahshua, king of the Israelites, because they wouldn't have said Jews. We know that. Mm -hmm. Then two of the robbers who were crucified with him, one on the right and another on the left. And those who passed by blasphemed him, yeah. yep, wagging their fingers and saying, you who destroy the temple and build it in three days, Save yourself. If you are the son of Elohim, come down from that cross. These were some wicked people here. Yeah, yeah. Understand that. Yeah. They hey, they tormented the man. He on he on the stake. They right. tell him, come down from the cross if you the son of Elohim. Mm -hmm. It says, likewise the chief priests also mocking with the scribes and elders said, He saved others, himself he cannot save. If he is the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. He trusted in Elohim. Let him deliver him now, if he himself. For he said, I am the son of Elohim. 
Even the robbers who were crucified with him revealed him with the same thing. They reviled him with the same thing. Now, this is important. He said, now from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, there was darkness mm -hmm. over all the land. And about the ninth hour, Yahshua cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lamb, lama sabbatiah, that is, my Elohim, my Elohim, why have you forsaken me? Mm. Some of these who stood there, when they heard that, said, this man is calling for Elijah. Immediately one of them ran and took a sponge, filled it with sour wine, and put it on, his, on the reed and offered it to him to drink. The rest said, let him alone. Let us see if Elijah will come to save him. And Yahshua cried out again <clears throat> and with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. Now, what did it say? The ninth hour. Remember, I'm telling you. Right, right. That Passover is three hours, right? Uh -huh. From the ninth hour to the sixth hour. That is the time that the Passover lamb was being killed. Okay. Wow. How do we know? What does it say? It said while the Pharisees and, 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 the, and the Levites were in the temple, mm -hmm. they were killing the what? The Passover lamb. Right. So the real lamb was being, was, had gave up the spirit at the ninth hour just as Passover was coming in. Right. Understand this here. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you cleared it up. Yeah. That's yeah. where I was trying to go. Really. Yeah. This is, this is what this is about. Remember mm -hmm. between the evenings. Mm -hmm. Why? Because what? The next day is the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Right. So what was, what was said back here mm -hmm. in 26, 17 couldn't have been true. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Ella, can I, I want to clear something up that I said when I was reading uh -huh. Go ahead. about the supper. Mm -hmm. Now, if you take from Matthew... Uh, 2617 mm -hmm. up until verse 30. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go to John mm -hmm. chapter 13 and read that whole chapter, mm -hmm. you'll see that from 17 to 30 is in there. Yeah. And it talks about, it says, John 13 and 1, it says, Now, before the feast of the Passover, mm -hmm. when Yahushua knew that his hour was come, this is that 14th day. Yeah. And then if you go down, verse 4, it says, He rises from supper and laid aside his garments. Now, we see that they ate supper on that day. Yeah. So that's what I was referring to when I read in Corinthians mm -hmm. and in Luke. Mm -hmm. I wasn't trying to support no theory of the Last it's Supper. Up. Right. We know no, that. No, no. Yeah, but see, what happened that. is that the scribes or the writers <coughs> of this book, what they did, maybe some fragments got mixed up. Because if you take Matthew 17 mm. through 30, mm -hmm. that's found in here. Yeah. But verse 17, yeah. we know that's all. Oh, yeah. They added that. Yeah. But the details in between, that happened on the 13th. Right. So we know that John got a more accurate, accurate. account. That's right. That's so what? now let's go to 57, 27, 57 of Matthew. Okay. It says, now when evening had come, Remember, he had already gave up the spirit. The evening had fully come. Mm -hmm. Now, we're between the evenings. Okay. It says, now when evening had come, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Yosef, who himself had also become a disciple of Yahshua. Mm -hmm. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body of Yahshua. Then Pilate commanded the body to be given to him. When Yosef had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth mm -hmm. and laid it in a new tomb, which he had hewn out of the rock. And he rolled a large stone against the door of the tomb and departed. And Mary Magdalene was there and the other Mary sitting opposite the tomb. Then it says, on the next day, which follows the day of preparation, mm -hmm. the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered together to Pilate saying, Sir, we remember while he was still alive how the deceiver said, After three days I will raise. Therefore, 
command that the tomb be made secure until the third day. Least his disciples come by night and steal him away yeah. and say to the people, he has risen from the dead. So the last deception will be worse than the first. Now understand, these guys, they still plotting. Yeah. They understand. They yeah. understood. Be a trick. And, oh, hey, yeah. they, hey, put guards over the door. So, <laughs> so that they, he can't say they stole the body. Uh -huh. You know, Pilate said to them, you have a guard. Go your way. Uh -huh. Make it as secure as you know how. So they went and made the tomb secure, sealing the stone and setting guards. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. Now, after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn. Now, this is where they done messed this up at. Okay. Because what dawning meant, it didn't mean that the first day was coming in. It meant that the first day was coming in, but at evening. Didn't mean that the sun was coming up. It meant the sun was going down. Remember Genesis 1-1? Yep. And the evening and the morning, morning. were the first, first day. day. So what does it say? As it was dawning toward the first day of the week. Huh? That's when Mary Magdalene come out. Why? Because they couldn't come out on the Shabbat. So they had to wait till the Shabbat was over, and it was still dark. Mm -hmm. You understand? This is how the scenario worked. Right. Huh? This is, this is the thing that they're not understanding, that the Father's time is not the same time that we living in today. Right. So that the evening come in first. So when it says dawning toward the first day of the week, uh -huh. the sun was going down, not coming up. Dang. So no, See what I'm saying? Uh -huh. No Easter Sunday, huh? No, ain't no Easter Sunday. Uh, no sunrise service. Uh huh? No sunrise service. Sunset <laughs> service. <laughs> huh? I'm serious. Very but they good. don't understand that. Oh, you, you broke that down real good. That was excellent, Elder. But again, we, we don't get what Passover is all about. He was an integral part of it. He was the sacrificial lamb. Yes, he was. But the Passover itself is a remembrance yep. to the Father. 